Hello, in this presentation, I'll be showing you how to create a procedure that stores positive integers or zero in an array, displays what you've entered in that array, and then works out the, the sum of the numbers that you've entered. I'm going to call this procedure enter num. And it will allow me to enter positive integers or zero. And when I'm finished entering the integers that I want, I just simply type something in there that's definitely not numeric. And when I press enter, I can see the numbers that I've entered. And I can also see the sum of the numbers. So that is the procedure that I'm going to create. And my procedure is going to have two parts to it. In part one of the procedure, I'm going to simply enter the numbers. In part two of my procedure, I'm going to convert all the numbers to integers and then add up the numbers. Now, um, what I'll be doing is I'll be using uh, an array to store the numbers. And I'm going to begin my procedure when I eventually write it by defining a variable and uh, it'll have, it'll really just uh, contain an empty array or an empty list. The length of that array, the number of elements inside that list is zero. But I can add things to the array to the uh, list by using a pen. I can add the number 33. And if I print out store, I can see that it contains the number 33. I can add more numbers to the list. I can add 54 to the list. And if I look at the length, the number of elements in my array or list so far, there's two. I can print out what's inside. There's 33 and 54. Now, the, the, uh, the interesting thing is that the... Um, I could, well, I'll, I'll add just one more number to it. 99. A pen. 99. And you can see that all three are now in there. It's interesting to note that the number in the very, in the very first position the number in the very first position is 33. But that first position is really position 0. The um, second position is position 1. And the last position is position 2 even though the length of store is now 3. Anyway, um, I'm going to be uh, using these ideas to create my procedure. Define, enter num. Now, 
the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create that empty list called store. I'm going to give the user an opportunity to input a number. But when they use when you use input in Python, that thing that you're entering is going to be stored as text. Num is now text. But that's okay because is numeric only uses text. So as long as you're entering a, pos a, a, a positive integer or zero, I'm going to be stuck in that while loop. And I'll be adding whatever you type in to store. It'll be appending store. And then I'll give the user another opportunity to enter a number. And then I'll press backspace to get out of the while loop and then I'll print what's inside store. And the numbers stored as text will be printed on the screen. I'll then initialize a variable sum with zero. It's going to be an integer. And for pos in range length of the array or the list, so pos is the position inside that list. And it's going to vary from zero all the way to length minus one. And that's what range does. Now, the purpose of this, so the purpose of the while loop was to allow me to enter numbers into the array and store them in that array and then see them. Well, I saw them once I got out of that while loop with the print store. But the purpose of the while loop was to allow me to enter those numbers in the array. And then once I got out, I was able to see what those numbers were. The purpose of this for loop is to convert, convert to an integer. All the numbers in that array, all the numbers in that array or, or list, I'm going to convert them all one by one to an integer using the int function. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to store the integer back into store. So the numbers are in store, stored as text. I'm going to convert them to an integer and store them back in the list. I'm going to put them back into store. And once I've done that, I'm going to add them. I'm going to add them all together. One by one, they'll be added to sum. I press enter, backspace to get out of the for loop, and then I'll print the sum. And that's the code that should do the job. So, let's test it. Enter num. I'll enter some numbers. 8, 9, 5, and 2. And I'll enter something which is definitely not numeric. I can see the numbers and I can see the sum. Now, I could have done all of this in the one loop. Quite possibly, this all could have been done in the one loop.
Let's have a look at how this could happen. Well, what I could have done is as I'm putting the numbers inside store, I could convert them to integers. Yeah. And furthermore, I could have a variable here called sum being initialized. And um, the other thing I could have done is I could have added sum here I know that num is an integer, so um, I could simply do this. So in this loop, I'm adding the integer to store, I'm adding the integer to sum, and I'm giving the user another opportunity to enter another number. And if it's a positive integer or zero, as long as that returns a true, my while loop will allow you to do that. If, if you enter something that's not a positive integer or zero, you'll be thrown out of the while loop. So I'll press enter, backspace, and I'll print what's inside store, and I'll also print the sum. So this is what I was showing you before, but now I'm doing it as the one loop. Let's see whether it works. Just by using one iteration or one loop. Press enter, press enter again. Let's enter num. So I've redefined it. And I'll enter the same numbers as before, 8, 9, 5, and 2. And uh, I'll even choose the same non-numeric character. Yeah, and this time I'm doing it using just one loop. And the numbers are stored as numbers in the array right from the beginning. And I also get the sum. Well, that's the end of my presentation. Thanks for viewing.